Welcome to the Rive 3D Mushroom Series, where we'll enhance rigging and compositing techniques in Rive to create a custom 3D rig for a mushroom. In the first lesson, we'll set up and animate a subtle mushroom loop using rigging and compositing techniques. In the first step, we'll adapt the leaf animation from the previous lesson and use it as the animation for the mushroom stem. Download and open the project file where you'll find the leaf animation from the wavy plant tutorial. Let's modify the leaf shape to resemble a mushroom stem. The animation appears incorrect. Adjust the weights for the figure's points. Select the middle points and bezier handles. Distribute the weight 50-50 between the blue and yellow bones. Select the upper bezier points and distribute 50-50 between the yellow and purple bones. Now the animation is correct. Reduce the amplitude for the stem's third bone. Next, let's add the mushroom's middle section and configure a mask for the stem. Select the stem controls and lower them. Use the Ellipse tool to create an ellipse. Create a group with an embedded bone and position it at the ellipse's top point. Duplicate the bone twice and position them on the sides of the ellipse. Add the bones to the cap mid-control group. Adjust the scale Y to create a perspective angle. Lower the stem in the hierarchy. Expand the hierarchy. Group the bones and shape. And duplicate the group. Increase the scale to create the outer part. Then recolor the shapes. Create a mask for the stem. Use the pen tool to draw the shape. Reduce the mask's opacity. Create a bone control for the mask's lower section. Bind the shape points to the bones and set weights as shown in the video. Select the stem and activate clip, choosing the mask shape. Disable the mask fill visibility.
Now the depth layer and mask for the stem are configured. In this step, we'll create the mushroom cap and add animation to the bend loop. Use the pen tool to create the cap shape. Change the fill color and create a new group. Add two bones for controlling the mushroom cap. Move the bones into the new group and snap the points. Create a tracker group for cap controls. Duplicate the created group, clear it, and rename it Cap Track. Move it into the hierarchy under STEM 3. Select Cap Control and add a translation constraint. Click on the target and choose Cap Track. The bones now follow the tracker. Move cap control in the hierarchy. Add the cap mid control group inside cap one bone, along with the cap bezier control. Select cap top control and move it inside cap two bone. Now the bones control the mushroom cap's shape. Select cap 1 and add a rotation constraint. Enable offset and set the strength to 60. Click on the target and select STEM 3. Go to the bend loop timeline and animate cap 2 bone further. The mushroom cap is now configured. In the next step, let's add light and configure the shadow for the stem. Select the out ellipse. Change the fill to a radial gradient and adjust it. Next, create a shadow for the stem. Duplicate the cap shape and modify its form. Remove all bindings. Reduce opacity. Click on clip and select stem. Part of the shadow appears above the layer. Add another clip target and select the stem mask. Add a radial gradient and adjust it.
Add a translation constraint. Enable offset and click on the target. The shadow appears above the layer again. Move it below a stem cap shape in the hierarchy. The shadow for the mushroom stem is now automatically configured. In the next step, let's configure the eye texture. The project already includes a pre-configured eye composition. Select the nested artboard and add the eye. Group it and move it. Open the animation panel and add a state machine. Also, add a preview animation in simple mode. Duplicate the eye groups, adjust their positions and sizes to create a pattern. Group the created eyes. Click on Clip and choose Cap Shape. Further adjust the positions of the eyes. Group the texture eyes. Select Texture Min and change the origin. Add a translation constraint. Enable Offset and select the midpoint target. Add a rotation constraint. Enable offset and select the midpoint target. This binds the texture to the mushroom's movement. Select texture eyes and further animate their side-to-side -side movement. Add internal light for the mushroom. Select the stem mask. Enable visibility and configure a radial gradient. Move the layer lower in the hierarchy. Create a new timeline called Depth to set up a joystick. Select Cap Mid Control and animate from negative 30 to 30. Let's configure automatic stretching for the eye texture. Add a translation constraint to each eye binding them with varying strengths to achieve the desired effect. The lower the eye, the greater the strength.
The binding works. The texture is configured. In the final step, let's add a wobble animation and integrate it into the state machine. First, finish configuring the joystick. Add a gradient animation. Then, configure the wobble animation. Duplicate the bend loop and remove the keys. Create a joystick. Add depth to the x-axis. Go to the wobble timeline and animate the joystick from negative 100 to 100. Select Stem 1 and animate scale from 100 to 83. Copy the cycle and adjust the offset. The animation is complete. Go to the state machine and connect it. Reduce the bend loop speed to 0.5. We've completed part one of the lesson. To continue this project and get access to the full lecture, join our interactive motion course. Visit our webpage to explore all the projects we'll create during the video lessons. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with fresh Rive tutorials.